for 90 minutes to 2 hours or more each night every single person on earth dreams. Sometimes the dreams are straightforward in their meaning to the dreamer, but dreams don't always tell a simple story and the field of dream research becomes even more fascinating when people from different cultures and backgrounds report having similar dreams. So without further ado, here are the 10 most common dreams and their meaning. Number 1. Falling. Falling dreams are quite common and can be linked to anything that is subject to falling or going up and down. Finances, stock, status, relationships, expectations, etc. It may indicate you are taking risky chances and putting yourself in danger. Falling in your dream may symbolize failure or your fear of failure. You may be feeling overwhelmed or out of control. Falling in a dream may be a result of physical movement of the body, a change in your level of consciousness or a change in your blood pressure. Not all falling dreams are scary and negative. Some dreamers report a type of slow falling that indicates serenity and the act of letting go. Often falling uncontrollably from a great height indicates something in your waking life feels very much out of control. Number 2. Dreams about sex. In many cases, dreaming of sex isn't really about sex. From a psychological perspective, dreams about having sex may symbolize the merging of contrasting aspects of yourself or a need to incorporate aspects of your dream sex partner into yourself. Consider your dream partner and what is it that you admire or love about them for an idea of what you're trying to merge into yourself. It may also be suggestive of a need for emotional love or desire to be loved and wanted. Sleeping with your ex may be an indication that you are coming to terms with and accepting the end of the relationship or that you have learned from the experiences that you are incorporating what you learn into you. To have sex with a stranger may symbolize a new you that is emerging due to changes that you are going through. The stranger may also indicate you are open to a change or a new opportunity that is on the way. Number 3. Being chased. This is one of the most commonly reported dreams, mostly because the anxiety we feel in the dream is so vivid that it makes it easier for us to remember them. Often, the reason for these dreams comes not from the fear of actually being chased, but rather what we are running from. Chase dreams help us to understand that we may not be addressing something in our waking lives that requires our attention. Number 4. Dreams about water. Water frequently represents our emotions or our unconscious minds. The quality of the water, clear versus cloudy, calm versus turbulent, often provides insight into how effectively we are managing our emotions. Drowning is a common dream, which usually occurs when we are under a lot of physical or emotional stress in waking life. Drowning may symbolize the fear of being overcome by drowning in your emotions or you may be experiencing financial difficulties and are drowning in debt or you may be drowning your troubles and you're trying to escape your problems by drinking them away. Swimming, paddling or rowing down the river may suggest you're going with the flow and experiencing not difficulties. Going up the river suggests you're going against the natural flow or experiencing difficulties or you are going against your intuition. You may be making things harder for yourself than they have to be. Taking a shower or bath may suggest you're cleansing yourself, releasing your negative thoughts and emotions. To be underwater may suggest you're feeling overwhelmed or you're in over your head emotionally or financially. Number 5. People. The people in dreams can relate to characteristics that need to be developed. Specific people directly relate to existing relationships or interpersonal issues we need to work through. 
Dreaming of a lover, in particular, is frequently symbolic of an aspect of ourselves from which we feel detached. Number 6. Missing teeth. Dreaming that your teeth are falling out or rotting may refer to your fears of being embarrassed or making a fool of yourself in some situation. Perhaps you feel unprepared for the task at hand and are afraid of getting ridiculed. These dreams are often an over-exaggeration of your worries and anxieties. It may represent self-consciousness, embarrassment or shame and it may indicate a need for more attention to oral care or nutrition. Or probably you are in a moment where your self-esteem is very low. Number 7. Death. Although death is often perceived as negative, it's often more directly related to dramatic change happening for the dreamer, the end of one thing, in order to make room for something new. Dreaming of death or dying may symbolize a phase in your life that has come to an end and something new is beginning. It may represent an aspect of yourself that has died, so something new can emerge or overcoming a bad habit or behavior. It may represent the end of a relationship. Since the people in your dreams often depict different aspects of yourself, then the person you see dead or dying, it's important to decipher in the dream. What does the person represent to you? For instance, a child dying can symbolize you are maturing in some way and leaving a childish aspect of yourself behind. Number 8. Flying. Dreams of flying may represent high hopes, feeling that nothing can hold you down or keep you from reaching your goals and could indicate that you're feeling in control of your life and your emotions. Usually, a sense of euphoria or freedom is felt when flying in dreams, perhaps signifying you have freed yourself of a sticky situation or have achieved a recent goal. Flying in a dream and how effectively or poorly it's done relates to how much control we feel we have in our lives and whether we are confident and able to achieve our goals. High flying is one of the most euphoric dreams imaginable. While flying low to the ground or being caught in obstacles like power lines can be immensely frustrating. Flying may be compensating for a lack of freedom in waking life or may suggest you are overlooking or avoiding something. It may also suggest that you need to see things from a higher perspective or to look at the big picture. While flying you may also be looking down on or feeling negatively about something or someone, possibly yourself. Number 9. Nudity. The clothes that we wear in waking life help us identify us. They represent how we want others to see us. Clothes also hide our imperfect bodies and metaphorically our emotional and psychological imperfections. When we aren't wearing clothes, we are stripped of our identity and others can see us as we really are. Emotional or psychological exposure or vulnerability is often expressed in dreams through nudity. The body parts that are exposed can give more insight into the emotions that our dreams are helping us to understand. It may suggest you are feeling vulnerable or insecure. You may feel afraid that you or your actions will be exposed to others. You may be feeling ashamed of yourself for something you said or did. The phrase, the naked truth, may come to mind and so you may be bearing your soul to someone or you're being open and honest with yourself about something. You may have recently revealed a secret about yourself to someone or the dream may be telling you that you should. If you're trying to hide your nakedness, consider asking yourself what is it you are hiding from yourself or others in waking life? What truth are you trying to deny? Number 10. Dreams about spiders. Spiders in dreams may represent different things and will depend on how you feel about spiders. Spider dreams can be either negative or positive in nature. Often a spider is associated with the aspects of feminine energy and therefore may represent a woman in your life. This will likely be a strong, overbearing mother or another powerful woman. 
how you relate to spiders in waking life and how you react to them in the dream should also be considered. If you're afraid of them, a spider in a dream may represent any instinctual fear or someone or something that is threatening you in waking life. If you don't fear them, other more positive meaning should be considered. If you want to kill a spider in a dream, then you may be representing or denying something that is threatening you. If it looks or feels harmful or threatening to you, it may represent an aspect of yourself or your life that is not aligned with your highest potential or ideals. Having eight legs and a body form of two circular lobes joined at the waist, a spider can represent the number eight. A dream about a spider may suggest someone is spinning tall tales or telling lies. The weaving of a spider's web may symbolize creative energy as the spider creates many beautiful designs in its web. It may also represent writings as all the letters of the alphabet can be found in the patterns of its design. If you like the video, please hit the like button and please check out my channel to watch more videos like this one and subscribe if you haven't done so already so you won't miss anything. Until the next time.